news routine i'm so excited that you're here welcome to this vlog i am so excited i'm going to be doing a few little christmasy things and just some random other things and i thought i would take you along for my day before i get further into the video i thought i would just mention what i'm planning to do in december and we'll see how it goes i don't want to do like a 12 days of vlogmas sort of thing i really don't think i could handle doing vlogmas because that is like a big commitment to post a video every single day but i thought i would try to attempt a version of it by doing a 12 days of vlogmas kind of thing this will just include some vlogs Christmassy videos and also just like book content with christmas themes in it so yeah just a bunch of different videos and content that I really enjoy so I don't know I'm gonna see how I go I have already filmed a few I'm trying to pre-film a few things there's something I'm working on at the moment but this vlog is gonna be like the first one in my little vlogmas edition so um yeah I'm very excited I really hope I really hope you guys enjoy all the videos that I put out but yeah I'm just excited I wanted to challenge myself a little bit because I'm just yeah really enjoying like vlogging and youtubing and all of that so but I just wanted to let you guys know that this will be the first video in this new vlogmas that I'm gonna be doing I don't really know how I'm gonna be spacing it out yet either i don't know if i'll do a post every single day maybe one every two days so you still have it a bit spread out throughout the month but i'm gonna make sure there's like 12 videos at least in this month which is crazy which is a lot of work but i'm very excited um but yeah just thought i would let you know um that's what i've got planned for you guys but yeah pretty much this vlog is just gonna be pretty simple i've got a few things that i want to do around the house but Mainly, I want to put out some Christmas decor. I bought a bunch last year because it was my first Christmas in my apartment and I was very excited. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I want to put out a few little decor pieces that I have. But I will do another vlog because I do want to go to like TK Maxx and Kmart and pick up a few more things. Nothing like crazy. Like I don't want to overhaul and get new things every year because I obviously know like living in an apartment, there's not much storage firstly. And secondly, there's only so many places I can put decor up. But I really do want to pick up more candles. If you know me, you know I love candles. So I really want to go to like TK Maxx and like Kmart and pick up some like Christmas candles. But yeah, I'm going to do that in a different vlog. Um which will be part of the vlogmas as well, but that's gonna be separate. But I'm just gonna use what I have at the moment and put it out and just get ready for Christmas and all the vibes because even though I don't like celebrate it, I still love this time of the year because it just means that the year is coming to an end and there's just like so much going on. Um, and it's just always a fun time. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna get ready for the day. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly time up some of getting ready. Anyway, I'm just really excited and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's just get ready for the day. did something very natural very simple just like an everyday kind of thing i feel like my hair has been so crazy frizzy at the moment like i just don't even know what to do with it i need to urgently get a haircut like i haven't gotten a haircut in a while i think i cut my hair last time um so i don't even know so i'm just gonna put my hair back in a claw clip because honestly i'm just sick of seeing the frizz i definitely should book in a haircut and just like chop off all the dead ends and stuff but anyway uh, as you can see there's a bit of a mess behind me so i'm gonna do a quick like 10 minute tidy up i literally always have laundry to fold i saw this meme where it's like my life is just like a constant cycle of doing laundry putting away laundry doing laundry putting away laundry and literally i cannot explain myself anymore i feel like that is just me and i'm not sure it's my whole personality trait is like avoiding doing laundry but i just want to do a quick tidy up yeah other than that we're gonna be putting out the christmas decor i'm really excited i've just got it in my closet here i'm gonna get that out and we're gonna put it out i'm very excited i'm pretty sure i got like a tree with a santa on it or something like that like something really small and then i've got a few little mini trees to put around and i've got a banner that says merry christmas i don't know if i can put that up by myself probably wait till my boyfriend gets here but yeah just like little things like that i'm really excited to do and to yeah put everything up also i thought i would quickly go over my lip combo because i've been wearing this recently i've been starting off with like a brown lip liner and at the moment i just got this makeup forever one in the shade what is it 
I actually don't know what shade it is. In the shade Limitless Brown. Um, and then on top of it, I've been going on with my Glossier um, Balm.com, which is in the shade Hot Cocoa. I think this is a limited edition one that they got. But I remember I told you guys in a previous vlog that I was kind of like debating whether or not if I should get anything from Glossier. But I did end up biting the bullet after that video was posted. But I never showed you what I got. Um, so yeah, I got this lip balm. And I also picked up this little cloud paint cheek set because I was, wasn't sure if I should splurge and get like a full size one but they had a mini one try it out i guess and i got the one in this shade puff which looks really light but it's like a beautiful like baby pink and it actually does show up on my skin so i really like that um and then this is the other shade which is rise um and it's like a bit of a darker more like fall vibes because it's more like rustic you know what i mean and this is a bit lighter so i guess i don't know if that's summer vibes just like two ends of the spectrum um, but yeah, so I picked those three things up just to try out Glossier and see how I go. I'm really loving the Balm.com. It's actually quite nourishing and it actually adds such like a nice little tint. Anyway, that's my little update on random things that I've got. So let's get into the quick tidy up, quick 10 minute tidy up, and then we'll do the Christmas day haul. <laughs> So I'm just gonna see what I have. This little Santa one that I have, it's like a little plant and it's so cute. It definitely is a bit annoying with like the frosted tips because they go everywhere. But I'm definitely gonna put this out. I think I'm just gonna put him on the TV unit. Um, so let's just quickly pop that there. That looks so cute there. I actually really love that. And then I have like a bunch of these like little trees that I think I put in my kitchen last time. So I'm probably gonna pop them there and I think I'll put one in my bathroom, which will be really cute. And I, in that other bag, I had more serving stuff. But I have this like cute little hand towel, which I think I'm gonna pop in the kitchen because I think it's really cute. And it says Merry and Bright. And I've got my banner to put up as well, which I'm just gonna wait for my boyfriend to come and help me with that. The fact that the rest of the stuff is literally like serving things because I hosted Christmas last year. It's crazy because why do I have a whole bag of like plates and placemats? But that's fine. We'll reuse these, but obviously I don't need this now. So I'm just going to leave this up so I can put it um, in my little storage case downstairs. I'm going to find a place for the little trees. And yeah, I think I'm going to put them in the kitchen and then we'll put one in the bathroom. So I've added the Christmas trees over there, which is really cute. Gives it the Christmassy vibe with like the frosted tips. And I've got one more, which I'm going to put in the bathroom, which is going to be really cute. I think I'm going to pop that there. That's cute. That's, that's so cute. I've got my little Christmas decorations up. I'm going to wash the hand towel before I put it out because I don't want to use like a dirty, dusty one. Yeah, that's so good. I'm so happy about that. I know it's like not a lot. It's just like very small, minimal things that I put around. But I feel like it just adds to the vibes. And I think once I put the banner up, like it will really feel like Christmas. Anyway, I thought I would also do a little bit of baking. I really want to make these jalapeno cheese bagels i don't know why i've been seeing so many videos on my tiktok of people making bagels and like i found a recipe that's a bit easier but i might try that and see how i go because i really want to try it i don't know it looks so good and it just is making me crave bagels so that would be really fun to do and i also want to make watermelon juice which honestly it's just like blended up watermelon but i have a lot of watermelon and i think it would be nice to have it like in a juice form i have really cute like takeaway bottles so it would be nice to just fill those up and have like homemade juice and add a bit of lemon to it I think that would be so nice. A lemon or lime to it. A little bit of honey. Oh my gosh, that would be so, so amazing. And it'll be so refreshing. Even though the weather is so gloomy, guys. Anyway, we're going to do that because that sounds really fun and yummy to have. Watermelon juice. 
have so much watermelon so I can always like make more. How quick was that guys? Like that was literally so easy. You can even try and remove some of the pulp by using like a strainer but like I don't really mind. Um, so I'm very excited to try this. Yum, that would be so good in like a mocktail or a cocktail as well, like a watermelon mojito kind of thing with some mint. Um, so, so good. And so refreshing. Like I added a little bit of sugar, but you don't even need to add sugar to be honest because it's just watermelon. It's pretty sweet anyway. But it's so refreshing and so nice. I am going to make um, a little bit more so I can fill up this little guy. And yeah, like it was so easy, so simple. Um, but yeah, definitely try that out. I'm going to sit for a bit and read because I've been reading The Ballad of Never After and I just to get back into it because just like so much is happening. I'm only about like 150 pages in. I've been kind of going through it with my reading at the moment. None of my books have been calling out to me. And so instead, I've just like been reading anything that's like a bit newer. Um, but I'm also going to go to the library later today. I think it would be fun. I've got a few books that I've put on hold that I need to pick up because I'm doing a fun little video for Vlogmas. But I also just wanted to browse and see what books my library has. They actually went through a bit of a renovation recently. Um, and they used to be a lot closer to me. Like literally like two blocks down the street. Not even two blocks. Like a block down from my like apartment building. But they went back to the original location because the renovations are done. So I want to go see what they've actually updated and, and just see what they renovated and stuff. I'm going to continue reading this and I'm gonna have my watermelon juice which you guys saw I just cleaned up and I put two bottles in the fridge which I'm so excited about like I am on like a bit of a kick right now because I keep seeing these like little recipes of like things that you can do at home but yeah I really am excited I really want to make some cashew milk sometime in the future probably not today I do not have the energy and I don't even think I have enough cashews to do that but I really want to make like at home cashew milk which sounds so good I love cashews that my we'll see when I do that maybe in a different vlog but yeah, I'm going to be just reading for a bit and drinking my juice. Okay guys, I'm going to try to make these jalapeno cheese bagels. It seems like a really simple recipe. All I need is all-purpose flour, or I assume that's like self-raising flour. Some baking powder, salt, and plain Greek yogurt, which I have. And obviously I have the cheese and the jalapenos. Um, I'm kind of nervous, but I really want to make them. So let's let's them because I'm like literally craving this right now. Like They look so freaking good and crispy and yum. I'm so excited. I really want to eat one. It's gonna let it cool for a little bit and I'm gonna while that cools down, I'm just gonna quickly change so then we can go to the library after we have a little taste test. Little outfit springs these little belly flat shoes, which I'm really loving and they're so comfy. They're literally from Amazon, but anyway, I'm just wearing some duck denim and just wearing the same jumper that I've been wearing. Um yeah, we are gonna go to the library. Like I said, I have a few things on hold that I need to pick up. And I just wanted to see what the vibe is. Hopefully my camera is fine because I just accidentally dropped it. But I'm going to try one of the bagels or like a bit of the bagel. And we'll see how it is. I'm so Actually, I might have been in the oven a bit too long. But hopefully it's fine. Oh wow. That looks so good on the inside. I did cut it very illegally. But anyway, I just wanted to take a bite. So that should be fine. Oh my god, that looks so good. Honestly, I could have added a little bit less Greek yogurt because I can really taste it, but I really, really like this. Like, that's such a simple, easy, quick recipe. And if you are like the type to meal prep, you can totally make a bigger batch and like freeze it or put it in the fridge so you have it like for when you want to actually have a bagel throughout the week. Actually, so freaking good. Anyway, that was such a success. I'm so glad I did the watermelon juice and I did the bagels. Really, really wanted to do it. And yeah, now I'm going to go to the library. So let's go.
can see i picked up my books from the library and honestly it was so windy outside like holy crap i did not realize it was that windy um but it was just yeah crazy windy um so i'm glad i'm back it was raining pretty much all day it's like cleared up now and so, anyway um i don't really have much else to show you so i think i'm gonna end off the vlog here hopefully this was a fun little homey vlog that you guys enjoyed especially with my little i don't even know if that's cooking updates probably just like little trial runs that i've done with my juice and my bagels um but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in the next video bye love you